We don't have to wait for because we have general, we have digital. We have moved into the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure this afternoon, this morning, to introduce our first speaker. Our first speaker is doing the Company Communicators number five. Family is very important to our Linda and Ken. So when they got a surprise phone call on Easter Sunday, they couldn't have been happier. Help me welcome our Linda Smith with her speech, My Easter Weekend, My Easter Weekend, our Linda Smith. has to be my favorite time of the year. <clears throat> a time where there's new growth and the nurturing of so many things, like the garden, like the family. Our son Ken, named after his father, of course, and his family of five, oh. arrived unexpectedly <clears throat> from Oregon yesterday. Jonathan, 14, was over six feet tall. Mm. Now, we haven't seen them for two years. Mm. Six feet tall, he got his growth spurt his last year. And because he got his growth spurt, his personality has flowered because now the kids don't, don't pick on him anymore. From here to up here somewhere. I thought that was great. And his sister, Whitney, is in 11th grade, and she was sporting a, a cap and a big tie, and she looked like the 11th grade teenager that she was. We were excited about that. She's going to go into some type of law enforcement, and Jonathan is considering going into the military, the Marines, I believe. And then there's little Connor. <clears throat> little Connor is four years old, but he's jubilant and happy, and energetic, and he has a big smile on his face, and he looks like his mother, Jeanette. Looks like his mother, Jeanette. We took them out to lunch at Round Table Pizza, where we stuffed ourselves with pizza and salad and cinnamon sticks, and they all loved it. I was particularly worried about the kids. I wanted to make sure the children had a good time, like their grandma and grandpa. We have a very small apartment, and so I thought it would be best to take the families out and do something with them. So pizza was the thing, and after pizza, we went to Baroni's Park, Regional Park, because I wanted to share the beauty of that park with my family. If this is a park that Ken and I have started hiking in, and it was very beautiful. Let me tell you a little bit about how beautiful that park is. It has beautiful hills. Let's start with the hills. They're beautiful and they're green because of the rain. And I see because we have another week of rain coming up, they're going to be beautiful for our next hike. And some of them are tall. Some of them are very steep. Believe me, we know from experience. And some of them are rolling hills. And they're all very beautiful. And they have meadows running around along the ground with tall grass. And these metals have, have beautiful flowers, <coughs> some blue flowers that are on the ground and then seem to drape over the bushes, if that's possible. And then in other parts of the uh, meadow, there are, are pretty yellow flowers. Kind of look like dandelions, but I don't think they are. I'm not up on my, my natural flowers and, they, and things like that. Then there are the tree trunks. And these trees, the Peronis, must have been there forever. I don't know how long that is. But when a tree has been around for a long time, it is misshapen. It doesn't look like your tall, billowing trees you normally see. But these trees have arms that come down like this. So instead of being upright, the arms come down. And they hit the ground. Or there are swinging vines like in Tarzan. Ken and I were joking, these must be Tarzan vines. And Ken said, they look a little too brittle for me. But he said, yeah, that is the idea. 
That is the idea. Anyway, these trees with these big, widespread arms invited the children to climb those trees. So we had a lot of tree climbing, and it seemed like the trees were hugging the kids. You know, they wanted the children to climb up their branches. That's why they opened them like that. Just like grandparents, right? The older we get, the more open we get. And it was wonderful. Uh, the, lit, the kids loved the uh, green hills. And when we first got there, there was this big steep hill, and there was a class that came out. I don't know, they were young grade school children, and they started running up that hill. And my husband and I go, oh, because at our age, we couldn't do that, climb up that very steep hill. But our grandchildren climbed up another hill that was almost just as steep, all three of them, including little, the little four-year-old Connor. They started running up this hill, and Ken and I, at our age, you know, we have our walking sticks, and we're walking up the hill at our own slow pace, and we're thinking what a great job we're doing and still we see, until we see all the children running up the hill. But oh, what it would be like to have all that energy of children again, wouldn't it? Oh, I can think of so many things I could do with that energy, but Ken and I still keep our, our finger in there, and we still, we still climb those hills. We climb twice this weekend, and we plan to, we plan to hike three times a week. I remember the terrain with all the big rocks and the uh, stumps and everything reminded me of when I was a child at my grandparents' house and my sister and I would run up and down the hills and I remember the big jagged gray rocks. In fact, I still have a scar right here from falling on one of them too many times when I was a child. On the way back, there was this big husky German shepherd kind of a dog named Daisy who fell down the side of one of those hills down into the water, into the stream. And so everybody, Jonathan, Whitney, and our son, all jumped in to get the dog, poor old dog, out. Because when it hit, it dazed it, and it couldn't move. Then we all sat down and relaxed because we had a big day. And the kids ran across the picnic area, never to be seen again, and so finally their dad went to look for them and found they found a cow on the other side of a fence. And they'd been climbing back and forth across the fence to visit the cows. <laughs> well, we took the kids home. It was a wonderful weekend. And in closing, it was a wonderful Easter weekend. And I look forward to more of the same in the years to come.